the next the next uh, part of our training is the uh, the seedling care. Everybody knows how to plant seedling. Everybody knows how to germinate seed. So before that, I will talk about seed germination. Seed germination, first of all, you can use this. You can use uh, to approach distillation dust. Put it in your trough, add with sand, and the the, the seedlings will sprout very nicely. Otherwise, you use uh, normal soil uh, plus black soil or plus a bit of peat moss. Don't use cocoa peat, use peat moss. The best peat moss comes from Europe, from Belgium, from Norway. Uh, from Belgium or... But from, but I use the Belgian peat moss. Not because somebody from Belgium is here, but it is the best. The peat moss costs about $30 or 30 ringgit per bag. What you do is uh, spread the peat moss into the uh, they call into the trough, throw the seeds there and cover it a bit with peat moss and wait for two weeks the seeds will sprout. When they sprout it becomes seedlings like this. Ideally, seedlings like this, the best time to transplant the seedlings like this is when, when they have five or six leaves. Mm -hmm. All you have to do like just now, you just plug it out from the, the, the trough and then, okay. The soil here you can before before preparing the soil you can mix black soil or whatever soil. Most important thing you have to put basal fertilizer in the soil. Basal fertilizer is fertilizer for the root. Mm. So you use CIRP or Christmas Island Rock Phosphate or any other basal fertilizer. If you have, a, but do, please do not use fertilizer that is very hot because we do not want scorching. What you do is, the moment you pluck out these things from this uh, seedlings from the ground, and then what you do is put a hole, in, make a hole inside there like that, and then you take this and dip it into uh, the CIRP. First of all, make the CIRP into this form. Add water, and then you have like that. So the roots are already fertilized, and you put it into the hole, and then. There you are. There you have already transplanted. So for the next one, two or three weeks, you don't have to put any fertilizer because you have already put fertilizer at the roots. This is known as the basal fertilizer. Okay, it's C I R P. See there, and then you can use a stick or you can use a hand or pencil like that. Put it inside and close it. That's it. Very simple. I'll show again. This is how we prepare seedlings. You don't plant the seedlings the seeds first and put fertilizer on top. Because you know why? If you plant this and put fertilizer on top, it must cause scorching here. Mm. Or heat. So you put fertilizer at the root like that. And there you are. Voila, you have it. Now make sure you put in a bit of water and then you leave it there. And then after this, the seedlings will start growing. What's the size of the polybag? Huh? The polybag uh, here is 6 by 9. Six, by, six nine. by nine, you can hold this for about two years. Mm -hmm. for, for two years, you don't have to worry. Okay, now. You don't need to uh, replant. No need, no need, no need, no need. No need. Okay. There is no coiling yet inside now. Okay, when your seedlings come of age, maybe to this height or to this height, mm. this one is already ready for planting. Mm. See? But one, one to two feet is ready for planting. But before that, how do you take care of the seedlings? Okay? Now you have transplanted this into the poly bag. So now, after two or three weeks, or maybe six months, it will grow. Now, you have to do pruning. Why do you want to do pruning? So that the girth will expand faster. Here you have plenty of leaves. So what you do is, you hold the stem here. And you pluck out all the leaves here. Don't pluck this way, okay? You can pull out everything. You hold the stem here, pluck out the leaves here, and leave about half the leaves only. That there. is the pruning. That is the pruning for seedling. See? This is the pruning for seedling. Hold here and then pluck out like that. There. So pull, pull, not pull. Don't, you leave at least half of the what up there. Mm. Now, anybody wants to do it, please, ah. you can do it there. Right. Hold it like this. Yeah. Right. I got one for everybody here. Okay. Ah, that's it. This is how you do it. This is how you prune seedlings. By doing this, 
So there are no more small leaves, so the girth will expand faster, grow bigger. See? Ah. Up here, you require for photosynthesis. Okay. Right. Here. Next. Anybody want to go have a go? Next. Go. Try. I put one for everybody to do. But, but whatever you do, please hold the stem. Okay. How will you do that? Okay. Hook. Okay. If you have not done it yeah. at this stage, Next. you can do it when it becomes like that. Ah, okay. When it's big like that, same thing. Pull okay. here, pull out. Pull out and make sure it becomes like that. Don't worry, because this thing will grow. Really? All we want is good seedling. So, when I, when I look into the internet, I see all the seedlings are full of leaves. Right. Okay. Ready? All the seedlings are full of leaves. We do not want that to happen. Okay. You can, this one, you see? Because of so many leaves, the growth is a bit slow. Now you can do this on this one. Hold here and pull up the leaves. Okay? Don't worry about being rough with the tree. This tree is used to being very rough. Just pull out at that little line. That and pull upwards. Don't pull downwards. You heard the stem. Just pull upwards at that. This is how we do pruning. Please don't overdo the pruning until you've got so little leaves up there. You require the top leaves. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. That's practically. Some people do pruning until it's almost bald. Don't do that. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, when do you when do you fertilize this after doing this? Okay. After the uh, the early transplant from the ground into the poly bag, you don't fertilize the trees for at least two or three weeks. Don't fertilize. After two or three weeks, you take a bit of CIRP with your fingertips like that, and just put it around there like that. After two or three weeks, is only that, that much. Is that rough? Yeah. It's rough. Which one? The the the, the fertilizer. This is the this is kind of rock? Phosphate. 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 They call it Christmas Island rock phosphate. Phosphorus. Phosphorus? Uh, Only phosphorus. little after yeah. two weeks. Huh? After two or three weeks, this is a little, little bit. Outside. Remember okay. right now that in the ground they already have the IRP. Now after two or three weeks, yeah. this will uh, help to enhance the growth of the roots. Okay. So you will have healthy plants like that. Mm. Now again now I want to show you about the all the pathogens that come. This plant is affected by pathogens, you see? It's mm. all black, black leaves. This is what we call, we call, we call this sooty black. Don't worry about it. Sooty black is only cosmetic. It will not affect the quality of your plant, okay? Don't worry about that. Mm. So this care. is how. Now, okay, you have, that's how you take care of your, they call, uh, your sydney. Now, we are, how often do you fertilize this? Okay, in the initial stage, maybe three months or six months, you just take a little bit of uh, NPK 15, 15, 15. Or you take manure. Just put a little bit manure. around the polybag, the polybag here. Not, do not put it near the stem here. Because if you put all the, you know, uh, we will just simply throw it around the stem here. You, it might cause, end up in scorching, hot, the heat. Yeah? Mm. So put around. Put around here, around here, just a, a little bit. And it, it can go about um, once a month or once in two months. Mm. So you can see how your trees grow. God willing, if you do it like this, you have very healthy, what they call our uh, seedlings. Mm -hmm. Any questions so far? So once every two months is enough. Once every two months is enough. To be honest with you, all my trees here, after transplanting until today, they are 14 years, I only fertilized them three times <laughs> in 14 years. After six months, I just leave it be. They find their own uh, record nutrients in the ground because they were jungle, yeah, they were jungle plants, is it? Yeah. But if you put in fertilizer, better you pamper them. Yeah. Okay, now that is part one that is transplanting from the uh, germination trough into the seedling bed, into the poly bed. Now, seedling care. Okay, what will happen uh, after this? After this, uh, once you start putting all the, uh, what do you call, all the uh, fertilizer, the basil, when you leave it, and then when the trees come up to one and a half foot, at least one and a half foot is good for planting. Try not to plant two small, two small plants. Mm. Leave it at least one and a half feet because they are <coughs> strong enough to stay. This is the best, the, the best. 
Uh, like this, or even is a, a, little, a little more also, it's okay. okay. A little higher is okay. Yeah, I really want to have the two feet. That's yeah. nice. The best is this one. There. This two. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The next is we are going to transplant from the poly bag into the.